What's up YouTube, I'm Josh Newland from Newland Performance and right now I'm going to show you the four best ways to impress college coaches at camps. So the four ways I'm going to tell you about in this video is research, initiative, respect, and be yourself. And I think these kind of just apply to recruiting in general. I mean, just living life in general. Um, I'll explain a little bit later. And I'll explain specifically what these mean and how they relate to going to ID camps. But just to clarify really quick, colleges, a lot of them will host their own camps. They call these ID camps, although ID camps can also be multiple schools and lots of other coaches. And normally how it works is you'll spend between 200 to 500 dollars normally to go it'll usually be at least two days you know maybe a weekend then you normally have the choice to either stay overnight there or you spend the night somewhere else or at a hotel and sometimes they're open to the public sometimes they're invite only the coaches will just send out emails to players they want to come and then just the coaches from that school will evaluate the players over those three days or so however long it is so the other kind of camp generally is a camp where they have multiple coaches and multiple schools there. These ones are normally more expensive, but you are also getting more exposure to more coaches and more schools. And I'm not gonna give my opinion in this video on whether I think these are worth the money they cost or not. I'll do that in a separate video probably in the future. But go ahead and ask me in the comments and I'll, I'll reply, I'll give you my opinion on it. I'm just not gonna do it in this video. Starting off with the number one, research. Research ahead of time, even if it's just the ID camp for just one school, then look up what the coaches' bios are. Learn about the school, about their soccer program, about the coaches, their experience. If you're going to a camp with multiple schools and coaches, know every school that's going, know every coach that's going, and then decide which ones that you're really interested in, and decide which ones you're sure you wouldn't go to because they, there's a deal breaker, like they don't have your major, they're too far away from home too expensive, something that's a real important criteria to you. So that way you already know going into the camp, these are the coaches I'm going to need to talk to. And then even just pay attention to their pictures so you have an idea of what they look like. Just going up to a coach and knowing their last names and hi coach Collins, knowing that ahead of time, that's going to impress the coach right away. If they don't already know about you, that's going to impress them that you know who they are. And then this is also important like I talked about in some of my previous videos in the series of giving the coach a good reason why you're interested in their school, not just, I want to play college soccer. Give them a good reason of, your school has a great soccer program. Notice you've came top three in conference the last three years. Or you can tell the coach, you know, that you've noticed that they've won, you know, multiple conference championships at this other school, and then, you know, I want to play for a coach that has experience winning and knows how to run a winning team. Doing your research ahead of time, and when you do meet those coaches, is going to set you apart from all the other players. They're just going to blather about themselves and, you know, I've scored this many goals this season, I've done that. If you can go up to a coach, you already know their name just from what they look like. You already know stats about the school, things about the coach personally, like themselves. That's going to be really impressive. When I met the coach at CSU Pueblo, this wasn't at a camp. I just got a meeting with just him, me, and my dad. And I actually didn't do the research on my own. My dad looked all this up and then told me, and then I was the one that told coach, so I looked like the, the smart one. But the coach at CSU Pueblo, Roy Stanley, he'd been coaching there for 30 years, and he went to Yale, and he was, an all, like I think, a four-year All-American in college. And I remember when we were talking, you know, I told him that. and made it seem like I did my research. I said, you know, Coach, I've noticed that you were an All-American in high school at Yale and you've been coaching here for 30 years. And I think I told him, you know, that's impressive because well, head coaches do not stick around the same school for 30 years without a good reason. And that was like super impressive. He had a huge smile on his face. And it's like the rest of our meeting went a lot smoother after that. And you could tell he was really impressed that I found that out about him. So that's one of the biggest and best ways to impress a coach at a camp. Number two is initiative. And this is another thing I've reiterated in a lot of videos, a lot of things to talk about recruiting, take the initiative. So once you do your research, what you should do before going to the camp, not just the night before, like a few weeks before, so you have a clear picture in your mind, who you're going to talk to, what schools you're interested in. Email those schools before you go to the camp. Let them know, I'm coming. I've noticed that you're going to this camp. And say something like, I'm looking forward to playing in front of you. And I also made a video just about how to email college coaches. One of the types of emails I describe really clearly for you, so if you want to check that out, here's a link right here. 
but send all the schools and coaches that you know are going, that you know you're interested in, an email before you go to the camp, so that way they'll at least be aware of that you're going. And then once you're there, go up and meet them in person, shake their hand. You should know who the coach is by how they look, just like I talked about in the research part. And take the initiative. I know a lot of times college soccer coaches can look kind of intimidating and you know they got their arms folded, sunglasses on, hats on, but going up to them and introducing yourself is going to leave a big statement because they don't want to have to come chasing after all the good players. They want you to come to them. Well there was a camp the summer before my senior year and there was over 60 coaches there from like 40 or 50 different schools and I think I met 20 to 23 coaches that weekend alone. Whereas I bet you a lot of the other players probably at most introduced and went up to five coaches and that was probably their five dream schools of San Diego State, Stanford, Oregon State, all these really big D1 schools. And that's another thing about this. You know, they had a section where it was just for us to go learn how to introduce ourselves as coaches. And, you know, Stanford of course had, you know, twenty guys at least in line out of hundreds of guys there at that camp. And then meanwhile you'd see some of these smaller schools and AIA D3 no one's standing in their line. The coach is just kind of awkwardly standing there. That's a great moment. You just go up and introduce yourself. Sometimes, even if it isn't a school you've ever heard of, you're not that interested in, why not? It doesn't hurt. Go up and introduce yourself. So you got to be bold. You got to go out to them first. And even if they've already had your eye on you, that's still going to be more impressive to them of a player coming up to them and having the balls to introduce themselves, even when it might be awkward, even if it's clear that you're nervous. They're going to have more respect for you than they would for some player that they have to go chase around. And when you take the initiative, be clear, use your research like I said, tell them hi coach, use their last name, briefly introduce yourself, maybe a couple little things about you. I wouldn't go in depth as you do in the emails because in person they're going to have less time, especially at a camp, probably walking back and forth to things. Just tell them you know, your position, tell them your club, tell them where you're from. GPA, tell them why you're interested in their school, give a short specific reason, and then end on, you know, I'll be playing on this field at this time, I'd love to see you watch me play, or ask them a question so you keep the conversation going, and it's not just them kind of giving you a blank stare like, okay. And then also, at the end of the camp, even if you don't introduce yourself till the last day of camp or something like that, if you know they've watched you play, for example, that coach was coaching your team during the camp, Ask them for feedback. That leaves a great impression on any coach and you should ask everybody that watches you play that's paying attention for feedback, no matter who they are anyways. And don't be afraid to ask them to get specific. If they tell you, you know, I think you need to work on your touch or your speed, tell them, are there any drills you personally recommend for me to do? You know, like I've said before, one of the Stanford assistant coaches coached me at a camp and um, you know, I emailed him before, I talked to him there a lot, I emailed him after and never got any responses. During the camp he was pretty quiet, of course I talked to him, I introduced myself, but at the end was only, you know, real time I got to talk to him, so I took all I could get out of it. You know, it was supposed to be a fairly quick feedback thing, but he wasn't really in a rush, so I just kept asking him questions of, what do you think I need to work on? And he said, you know, you're short explosiveness, your first few steps, and your touch. And he also said those are just kind of broad things you can say to any player. So then I asked him, what are some specific drills? And he gave me a couple simple, specific drills. And he seemed pretty unimpressed. I mean, he pretty much kept a straight face the whole camp. He didn't, he wasn't really goofy or anything like that. But he ended up giving me a good rating that I could use and put on my profile. And also beyond just that I'm a good player is that I was asking questions, I was interested, I wanted feedback, and that I was a coachable player that he thought would be a great fit for college soccer. So even if it's some coach from some dream school that you think, you know, I don't stand a chance and he probably care less listening to me, that's gonna leave a good impression on them when you take the initiative. And you never know what they might say about you and go on to another coach, because coaches at these camps do talk to each other. They, a lot of them know each other. They don't just, you know, pretend they're all enemies at this camp. You know, they, they'll talk, they'll say, oh, you've been watching that guy, and tell each other, I'm recruiting this guy, I'm recruiting that guy, things like that. And even the bigger schools, talking to the smaller schools of, you know, if they have a good relationship, they might tell, <coughs> D1 coach might say, you know, we already have a fullback or whatever, but, you know, that guy, Josh Newland, he's a pretty good player, maybe you should look out for him. So take that initiative. And after the camp, 
follow up with an email too. If they didn't give you feedback in person, that's a good time to ask them for feedback and then just say, I'm glad I got to play in front of you, something along those lines. Just be bold, don't let coaches forget about you. That's one of the worst things that can happen. Number three, show respect. Be respectful to the coaches, like I've said before. Call them coach, use their last name. Be polite, be at least somewhat formal. Even if you talk and use a bunch of slang or whatever, at least for that moment when you're talking to the coach, just be respectful, be polite, be professional. It's always better to do that than to be too casual and acting like you could care less going to this camp and you know you seem cocky or like the last thing you want is the coaches to think that you're being disrespectful. And no coach wants a player with a careless, selfish, or disrespectful attitude on their team. Also, show respect for your teammates. Don't go out there acting like you're bigger and better than everyone else. Show respect for them. Be a leader by your actions. You know, this is a camp as competitive as I am. You know, it's not time to yell at your teammates if they mess up, they make a mistake, you lose a game because of them. Just let it slide. I mean, at the end of the day, you're going to the camp to try to get yourself out to coaches. So don't waste that money and time you spent at this camp because your attitude is bad. And then don't also be the other way, like you're acting like you could care less being there and you know, losing a game or making a mistake, you know, you don't care and it doesn't bug you. You don't want to seem like that either. You know, just try to find the right balance. Obviously, these aren't your own teammates, so you don't you shouldn't feel the obligation to go call out players for being lazy or making simple mistakes or things like that. This isn't the right time or place to do that. So the fourth and final one is to be yourself. And I know this might sound kind of against the respect part, but you can tie them in, believe me. And I also put this last for a reason. Obviously, you should always be yourself, but you want to make sure that's within the context of being professional, respectful, showing initiative to the coaches, showing that you've done your research, you've been prepared for this camp, and then show them some of your personality. Play your style on the field. Don't try to be a player you're not. If you're just a simple, take a touch, pass it, get rid of it. Don't try to turn into Messi at the camp and take everybody on, take shots from 40 yards out. Don't do that, just play your style. You'll do better that way. Show the coaches your leadership style with your teammates. Are you just the quiet guy that just works your hardest and tries to get people to follow you that way? Or are you the more vocal and you know telling people in the game, you know, be here, be there, be yourself. Again, don't try to be the kind of leader that you're not naturally. You shouldn't change the type of person or player you are just for a camp. You should just try to become a better player or person fitting your style when you're going to this camp. Show your passion, show that you're invested into the games, show that you're competitive, show that you want to be there. Hustle and work hard and have some fun doing it. You know, college soccer can be exhausting. It's really easy for the players on the team to get on each other after a while. And if the coach can see that you know, you're making friends quick at this camp, that's just a couple of days and you know, on your free time in between games, in between drills, you know, you're joking around a little bit when it's appropriate. You seem to be a positive guy that, that people want to be around and you want to be around other people that's going to be another good thing and that's going to set you apart i mean if you're a coach and you're recruiting two players that say they have the same exact attributes you know the skill level grades all that's exactly the same and they're at the same camp and one of them just kind of stands around doesn't really seem to say a word to anyone else the rest of the camp and you know, they might have been had, took the initiative and talked to you showed respect to you done their research but then you don't really see much of their style, how they're, what kind of leader they are, how they interact with other teammates and players. But then the other player, he's doing all of his things right, and he's you know joking around with his teammates when the time to do that is right. He's showing passion. You know he's invested in the game. He's intense. He's focused. But he can also have a good time. And you see other players kind of coming to him, and you see them kind of hanging out in groups with him. Which of those players are you gonna choose? So don't be too shy at these camps. Obviously, you don't have to turn into some extrovert. But that's just another good thing that's going to set you apart if you show that you can make friends and you are a guy that people want to be around. That's huge on a team. Because as important as stats, grades, how you play, all of that is, it's extremely important. But if your team doesn't get along, if they don't have good chemistry, if they're a bunch of guys with too big of egos and they can't stand each other, you're never really gonna win anything or be successful. So that is something coaches also wanna see from you. They wanna see some of your personality and what you're like. So those are my four best ways to impress coaches at camp summed up. 
I know this wasn't anything like really specific of drills and things like that because I think you should already be doing that. You shouldn't just think about doing that before going to a camp. And I do also want to say that these can also apply to showcases and tournaments where there are coaches there too, but these are more specific for the camp environment. And I've also been to more camps than tournaments where there's a lot of college coaches there to go up and introduce yourself to. So hopefully you guys can take something away from this. I think a lot of players had the idea at a camp that you know they've heard stories that you just play really well and then all these coaches are going to come flocking to you. It's just like the rest of your recruiting process. Take the initiative, be bold, be professional, and put yourself in the best position to showcase your talents, your abilities, your skills, and that will really impress college coaches. So comment down below your experience with camps. You know, have you got recruited from camps? What's your thoughts on them and what are your tips for other players going to camps as well? But thank you again for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. If you are enjoying the series, turn on notifications, hit the bell so you'll know when new videos in the series come out. I'm releasing them every weekend. Thank you all again for all of your support and I'll see you on the next one.